Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chicken Police. And yeah, so we have only one place to go. It's the Wessler residency. And yeah, I can do a quick recap. We were at the asylum where uh, Ibn's twin brother Albert was. Uh, I don't know, he, he did. He wasn't like a patient or something. I, I think he just <laughs> kind of lived there, like uh, apart from his family that uh, wanted to hide him away, but he could leave the asylum. And it happens to be that he um, was painting, uh, was uh, painting paintings. He was painting paintings of Natasha. Yeah, that's a correct sentence here. And um, it seems to be that he fell in love with Natasha, killed his brother Ibn um, to replace him. And yeah, now we are gonna confront him and hopefully Natasha too. And um, yep, I think his goons will be there too. So prepare for trouble. Let's go. The sun was shining, and all the ducks were in a row. I felt ready. The pieces of the grand puzzle were laid out on the table. I just needed to piece them all together. A revealing glance or a careless word, and I'd have the answer. I knew we were in the right place. I knew it was nearly over. Was Natasha really just a victim? Or did she know everything? Was she controlling the puppets from behind the curtain? Well, if you don't know where to go, go straight ahead. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Oh, boy. Here I am, Natasha. I hope you're waiting It's so for green. Me. It's so green. Look at that. Furry gods. I knew he was rich, but wow. Half the city is in his hands, Marty. And half the Council of Twelve. I think we'll catch a big fish today. Don't count your chickens. If we. I'm sure Wessler's expecting us. And Natasha, too, I hope. You hope? If I'm right, she could be our only chance of survival. Lovely prospects, huh? I've had worse. Really? Wow. Oh, this place has its own greenhouse. What do you think's inside? Plants. Hundred percent humidity and unbearable heat. Oh, not like that. Could they be growing rarities in there? Or maybe some chicken-eating giant flower monster. Yep. What? Oh, you just made that <laughs> up, right? Nah, I'm sure there's no such thing. <laughs> huh, one of Wessler's ancestors, maybe. Wessler's ancestors were poor cobblers. More likely, this represents <laughs> what he thinks of himself. I wonder how chivalry is compatible with organized crime. Eben was planning to leave the underworld. When his twin brother tore out his tongue, poked out his eye, killed him, and took his place? Yeah, happens. Yeah. That happens, I guess. What the hell is it? Water tower? Turret? A frickin' lighthouse? I think it's a monument to an enormous ego, Marty. <laughs> well, anyone who builds a tower this big must be trying to compensate for something. Or he just has too much dough. Is this a mansion? <laughs> or a grand palace? Or a small city? Well, if it comes to hide and seek, Old Westler will have an advantage. A serious advantage. Oh. Hey. Not so fast, chickens. Hello. Please excuse my partner. He didn't mean to be rude. It's just his uh, terrible habits, as you may already know. <laughs> ah, 
Well, let's put talking? the cat dragged oh. in. Funny, I don't recognize them. Well, maybe if they had some guns with them, Tommy gun. <laughs> oh yeah, now I remember. The two suckers in the luxury van you shot to pieces twice. Exactly. Oh, what are you doing mm -hmm. here, chickens? Would you like us to finish what we started? We'd love to have fun with you boys, but we need to talk to your boss. And while we're at it, the lady of the house is also expecting us. Is that so? Yes. Yeah, that's so horny. In that <laughs> case, I guess there's no reason for us to waste your precious time. Is that right, Gabriel? Oh, get the hell out of our sight while there are still <laughs> feathers on your skin, chickens. Easy, pal. We're not even here anymore. Until next time, boys. Uh. Let's go. This must lead to Wessler oh. and Natasha's suite. Well, let's get the big guns out and kick the door down. No need for uh. that, Marty. We'll wait until they invite us in. Like real gentlemen. Then maybe we'll need the guns. Oh, but it's Olivia it in the background? Oh, my trigger finger's itching, Sonny. Someone's gotta pay. Relax, Marty. Someone is gonna pay. Tonight. Yeah. Just don't let it be us. Oh, that would be nice. Mm. It's like the vegetation's trying to suffocate these beautiful walls. Maybe it will. Maybe in a hundred years, nothing will be here but plants. An endless, planet-sized jungle. That's quite a dark thought. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. This place is incredible, but it kind of gives me the creeps. Because you know what lies behind the beauty. With Natasha, too? I haven't decided yet. Hmm. Hello, Olivia. Ah, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Olivia. Sweetie. Get Don't do that. Uh, oh, okay. What did you say, ma'am? Turn around and get the hell out of here now. If you want to make it out with feathers intact. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Don't worry about us. We know what we're doing. Eh, most of the time. Huh? Don't you get it? You have to get out of here or you'll be in danger. And also her. Do you mean Natasha? Please calm down, miss. We have to mm. talk to Mr. Wessler and Miss Katsenko. You really don't understand, do you? Oh, well. What do they not understand, Olivia? So, what Hello. is it exactly that our guests don't understand? I was trying to tell the detectives that Mr. Wessler's very tired and doesn't welcome guests this early. Mm. He gets rather irate if he's being disturbed at this hour. I'm sure Mr. Featherland and Mr. McChicken can wait here while Ibn refreshes himself. I'll entertain them until then. Mm, he, uh, she has got some bad vibes, like right there. I uh, am afraid she will turn out not that nice. Mm. Thank you, Miss uh, Kitsenko. Please, Sonny, I thought we've already discussed this. Call me Natasha. Uh... <clears throat> Please, Natasha, can we talk to you in private? Martin, it's all right, Olivia. These gentlemen are my friends. Yes, Miss Katsenka. Okay. You know, I had a dream before we came here. I saw Natasha with a bloody mouth and red claws. Right, we don't know what the painted red thingy, like, is supposed to mean, so... And? What does that tell you? I don't know, Marty. Yep. I admit it. I haven't been this on edge for a long time. Uh, I'm just angry. Truth is, I'm not entirely sure why. Your sense of justice kicking in? More like my sense of don't fuck with the chicken police. Okay. The truth is, Ibn isn't really in a good shape today, gentlemen. He's rather furious. 
Are you sure this can't wait? You commissioned us, Natasha, and we barely escaped with our combs intact. So you know who left the threats? Yes. Oh, we know much more than that, Natasha. She doesn't know. We even know where you used to work. We talked to Madame Savas. Wild gods. Why didn't you tell us? Do you think it's easy for a woman to talk about such things that she used to be an escort? Along with Molly? So you know. Yes. yes. I know, Natasha. I also know all of this was a trap. Believe me, I tried to handle things the least painfully I could. You weren't even supposed to know. A lot mm. shouldn't have happened. Poor Deborah shouldn't have had to die. Dear sweet Deborah. Cold, stiff Deborah. Please, was don't it say that. Was it overture? A price worth paying? You cannot think I had anything to do with that. You just cannot. I don't know, Natasha. Please, Sonny, tell me what is going on. Ibn will storm know, in right? right now. Please. Excuse me for making you wait, detectives. Uh, I'm having a rough morning after a long night. Is that so? Our night was also kind of long, to put it mildly. I was just telling the gentlemen that you were exhausted, my dear, and they should come back another time. I'll escort them out. Oh, honey, no need for that. My door is always open to the legendary chicken police. Mm -hmm. Please, come on in, guys. Let's uh, talk in my room. Then this way, please. You just stay here, my darling. I'm sure our conversation will bore you. No, 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 no. Refresh yourself or tell Olivia to go make some coffee. Coffee. Yes, dear. Whatever you like. Please, follow me, gents. Lead on, Wessler. So long, sweetheart. Goodbye. This is not good. Okay, let's quickly... Natasha... Natasha tried to send us away from the Wesley, uh, uh, Wesley estate, but why? Was she worried about us or did she have a different mo motive? Mm, they... Sorry about that. They kind of like seem to know something's up. Olivia tried to show us up the the Wesler mansion strange but she seemed quite worried about our lives well how about today's red it's a dangerous lunatic oh I haven't seem to not clicked on that yeah okay there it is there it is this painting it's beautiful and rather provocative almost makes my comb stand up i'm not surprised but the corner is missing you're right sonny you're quite the observer well yeah this painting's unfortunately damaged i don't know where the missing piece could be you don't know mm. well if you're interested we know exactly where it is really really it's here with us. An insignificant well. <laughs> piece, isn't it? But there's an exciting cat scratch on it. More like a rat scratch, because it's a monogram. A W. That's Albert, Albert Wessler. He's a great painter. I don't know if you've heard of him. Enough. Out with it already. What are you trying to say? I have no time for your childish charades. Easy, charades. Wessler. We'll get to that in a bit. Phew. Oh, look at that. Farewell from Fouls. Uh, farewell. Okay. Impressive bed. Looks cozy. Sure is better than a cell. That's right, Marty. I'm not sure I understand, gentlemen. We'll see about that. Hmm. Would you like a drink? This is a rather rare brandy. It lifts the spirits if I may be so uh, poetic. Really? Tempting, but I need to keep a clear head, Mr. Wessler. 
Yeah, I've heard you don't despise a good vintage. <laughs> and I've heard you don't despise murder, Wessler. By the way, you've heard right. But everything has its place in time. Drinks, guns, dead bodies, and the truth. Yeah, I see you're in a poetic mood as well. Uh. More like prophetic. And that's not a good sign. Yeah. Are you trying to intimidate me? No, that's not how we do business. We're gentlemen. I really hope so. Do you keep a revolver in your bedroom? Yeah, a bad habit. Uh. One who has a lot to lose has a lot to fear. I agree. Uh. Uh. Like, do we have, like, a... Uh... An escape plan? Is rather <laughs> impressive, Mr. Wessler. Can we jump through the well, window? I suppose it took years and years of cumbersome work I mean, chickens can fly, yeah. right? <laughs> As you <laughs> right? say, Mr. Fiddlin, I'm rather proud of it. You should be. Whoever built this place has a reason to be proud of himself. Are you trying to say something, sir? No, no, just thinking aloud. Oh, okay. So, uh, Let's do this. What do you want to know? I've heard you've been through a rather eventful few days. Uh, oh, you have rather good informants. Yeah, that's true. I should tell you, I see and hear everything that happens in the city. And you, uh, you are exceptionally resilient. No offense. <laughs> None taken. But tell me, are we going to flatter each other for a long time, or are we finally done with the courting? Straight to the point. I like it. Yeah, so let's continue like that, shall we? What do you want? How dare you intrude upon me in my own house? Oh, forgive us. Our moral compass has been confused a little bit after someone tried to kill us several times yep. in the last 48 hours with fire with machine guns i could go on and while we're at it you could answer some of our questions if you've nothing to hide you have nothing oh, to fear this. and then we'll just leave you alone all right i'll go along with your childish little game i would have had a long and tedious day ahead of me anyway so can we start with pleasure start. mr wessler Oh, okay, it's just asking. I have no idea what she sees in you, but Natasha's been seriously worried about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she uh, really worries more than usual, but it's understandable. Those disgusting messages. Mm. Disgusting, all right. Do you know why that word exactly? Why did they write that specific word everywhere? Since, mm. uh... Since uh, you've been to the Nile, I guess you know the answer to your question. Didn't it bother you, Wessler, what Natasha used to do? Surely it must have upset uh. you. Why? Did it upset you when you discovered your wife did the same thing? What did you just say? Uh, what did you think, chicken? That I didn't know? Yeah, don't make me laugh. I know about everyone who ever set foot in that place. I can even tell you oh. who these regulars were, if you're interested. You son of a bitch. Sonny, don't. Yeah. Yes, detective? Not yet. Uh, you're right, Marty. It's not worth it. You're funny, uh, you know that? He knows what buttons to push. About the painting. Yeah. My brother Albert made it. He's a great talent, but, uh, still, uh, he's a rather troubled individual. Such self-criticism. What did you say? My partner means that you and your brother are very much alike. Identical twins, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. But, uh, what does that have to do with the painting? We'll get to that. Don't worry, Mr. Wessler. So, Albert made the painting at your request. Is that right? And the one that's in Natasha's room in the Tsar, too. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime in itself. So, I wonder if we have to interrogate him at the end of, like, 
this picture. This dialogue it's here. Strange, you know. Why do you think so? It's just me, Natasha, and my brother. The photo doesn't tell much in itself, you know. Uh. But if you already have the right information, suddenly it starts to talk. Really? He fell in love with her, didn't he? Who do you mean? Albert, of course. He fell in love with Natasha. All those sessions Ooh. while he was painting the pictures. It's getting you hard. Every time. You mean uh, me? You. No, I mean, while Albert was painting, yeah, but I wasn't there all the time. Albert was there all along. And do you think he could have fallen in love with Natasha? That's why he escaped? What do you think happened to him? Who tore out his tongue? Eh, I have no idea. Did Natasha know about what happened to your brother? No, of course not. Do you love beautiful things, Wesler? Of I, course. Eh, why do you ask that? Yeah, of course. You were afraid of losing her, weren't you? To him. Uh. Stop. Enough. If you want to ask something, ask clearly. Don't play with me. You understand? <laughs> Is he like throwing like in, in the room that it's still Ibn? Didn't we agree on that it's Albert? <laughs> just confused here. We're just doing our job. Then do I was not clicking, I swear. We visited Albert's cell and found something he seems to have uh, forgotten to take with him in his great hurry. That's a big mistake. A uh. classic, even. What the hell are you babbling about? This is Albert Wessler's love letter to Natasha. Uh, if you can call it that. A confession in which he tells her he's capable of doing anything for her, even the most horrible thing. Oh boy. Yeah, this letter doesn't prove anything at all. Albert is mad. Insane. He's not a normal. No one would believe his word. Don't you understand? But they believe yours, right? Because you're not Albert Wessler. You're Hobart Ibn Wessler, aren't you? How good it feels to be in his skin. Um How dare you. Just tell him, Sonny. I'm getting tired of this. You're just a cheap fake, Albert. You couldn't follow in your brother's footsteps even if you wanted to. No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't get Natasha either. Am I right? What? What did you just say? She hates you, doesn't she? She doesn't know. She doesn't understand why. But she hates you. It's instinctive. Yeah, what do you know? What could you possibly know about suffering and loneliness and the darkness? What could oh, you know funny. about hate? Huh? Okay, my friends. I think this will be the last interrogation. But since it will be the last and probably a very long and intensive uh, intensive yes um intensive interrogation we will do that in the next episode i'm very keen on um yeah interrogating him getting to know the full story and i think we will wrap it up in the next episode so Yes, I think all our questions will be answered in the end and I hope you will be um, joining me in the next episode again if you want to know how it ends here with uh, the chicken police, with uh, Ibn or Albert or both, Wessler, <laughs> with Natasha, does Lewis come and play? We don't know that yet. It's, it's not quite from the table here, so just, just saying here. Yeah. So, um, that's it for now, and um, yeah, <laughs> until then, bye!